outrageous and blatantly inaccurate. Those were the u words used by Ajit Nivad Kabral, the former governor of the Central Bank, to describe a statement made by a deputy minister that an agreement was signed between Kabral and former IMF head Dominic Strauss-Kahn for funds from the Central Bank to be used for legal expenses pertaining to a personal case that Strauss-Kahn was involved in. Kabral writes that he's quote-unquote sad and pathetic that such a statement was made with the documents and evidence available at the central bank, which the deputy minister would have probably examined himself, indicates a completely different picture. The former CBSA governor adds that he has already explained the background to the consultancy assignment that was awarded by the central bank to former IMF managing director Dominic Strauss-Kahn's firm. Hence, Cabral says the deputy minister's statement to the effect that Strauss-Kahn was being paid fees by the central bank to fund his own legal fees is obviously a deliberate and pitiable effort to discredit both the members of the former monetary board as well as the former IMF managing director. The agreement between Dominic Strauss Khan and the Central Bank, as far as we know, uh, was not sanctioned by the cabinet and it was uh, a decision by uh, the Central Bank. Because the Dominic Strauss Khan agreement with the Central Bank was a private consulting job. How is his official capacity, the relationship the Central Bank built with him during the official capacity, play any role in negotiating a contract? between his private company and the central bank. I mean, that I didn't say that. That is what is in the statement issued by the former governor. This agreement was signed during the time Mr. Strauss uh, was in court uh, facing various allegations of sexual misconduct.